Our next speech is uh, by Robert Gooch. Now, Robert is from an arable farming background and has worked in agriculture consultancy all his career. Having graduated from Rittle College and West of Scotland Agricultural College, he, g he g gained pros a postgraduate degrees in uh, agricultural economics from Y and an MBA from Georgetown in the United States. He started his career as an ADAS advisor uh, before moving into farm business consultancy and from there into agricultural policy consultancy with his company, Urinco, which he established in Brussels. He covered arable, dairy, beef, sheep and pigs, working as a consultant to many trade associations, but never eggs. So it was quite a baptism of fire this year. Uh, he sold the business and joined Beef Repper in November 2011. Robert, as you know, is now the policy director of Beef Repper, and his talk is entitled, Making It Happen. Robert. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, apologies uh, to those of you who are members with the AGM this morning who were bored by me already. Um, those of you who weren't there, I'm not going to apologize for not repeating what I said this morning, which was a run-through of what I've been doing uh, mainly on uh, these sort of statistics and, and uh, information gathering for the FREPA this morning. So I'm not going to run through that again this afternoon. This afternoon is more about some observations of a new boy to the industry, some of which are going to be controversial, and I look forward to debating those uh, more controversial aspects with you afterwards uh, in the um, question and answer session. The first point I wanted to make um, is that um, it's always nice to be uh, uh, and it's quite exciting to be in, in uh, a growth industry or growth sector. Uh, I've just put a slide up there which shows um, free-range hens in purple. Uh, I used to work in arable milk and uh, dairy and, uh, and, and, and the pig industry, which obviously have not been growing anything like uh, and been static uh, in terms of a, a sector and very mature. Uh, this is quite an exciting sector to be in, and hence why you're all here today. Um, and I will sort of give you some my views about where the future is, given that um, some predict that we've plateaued uh, as, a, as a sector where we are um, now. And that's also reflected in terms of our share of the, mar of the total egg market as well, um, which has grown uh, over time. And so it's an exciting place to be, and I'm very pleased um, to be here. But um, it has to be said that growing so fast over such a long time, or such a short period of time, has produced its challenges. Now, this is a one slide from a model um, which um, I spent quite a lot of time this morning going through. And if you look at the horizontal axis and imagine that's the vertical line going up, which shows the growth we've had in the last 20 years, just so imagine that sort of moving up at uh, 45 degrees rather than being flat. Um, and you can see uh, in that graph it shows where we've overshot the market and oversupplied and undershot. So the blue lines show where we have overproduced uh, or underproduced uh, um, uh, against the long-term trend. Then the red line shows where prices, as you'd expect, to, to diagrammatically opposite or a mirror image of uh, over and underproduction have moved as well. So the big challenge um, for us in uh, what has been a fast-growing sector is to be able to meet the market demand uh, spot on. And it's very hard to do. You've, we all in the past have relied on our packer um, telling us, yeah, we want you to put up a new shed or we want you to put a few more birds down because the demand is good. And that's all you've had to rely on. And so I've always been quite surprised when uh, packers and, uh, uh, have told us that um, it's our problem that we're oversupplying in the last year. And remember, I've only been here for a year. But if you look at that, you will see that, look at that slide, is that over and production has been a characteristic for some time. And the point I want to make is that it's getting worse. The boom and bust and the cycle, as you can see from that graph, are getting significantly worse. So not only have we got to be able to predict where demand is going and then manage our production base to meet it, we've also um, uh, got to deal with the other, um, if you like, distortions. Um, this one shows what I believe is this distortion caused by the rural development grants in the devolved uh, regions of the UK. Um, and it shows that um, free-range head numbers in England have declined since March 2011. Yet strangely enough, in the countries which had grants for putting up free-range hen units, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, um, the uh, head numbers have gone up. 